So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you once again for joining me today. And it's a beautiful spring day today here in the United Kingdom. And today I have my 2019 Honda CB650R in front of me. And I just want to go over the mods I've done over the two years that I've had the bike. So we're going to go from front to back and just have a little chat. Right, so first of all, I guess the frontmost part is these RNG fork sliders. Now these are just in case you do have an off, they do protect the forks, they're quite obvious really. A clue's in the name, uh, these came from RNG of course, these are actually a local company to me, based in Hampshire in the United Kingdom, so yes. And also in the video description, I'll put all the links to all the products that I've added to this bike, so if you are interested in buying them, do look there. Okay, next up we have the RNG headlight protector, because I've actually managed to smash headlights on previous bikes and it's a lot cheaper if you have a sacrificial part like this it's just made of high uh, sort of high impact uh, plastic and it comes off fairly easily and you've got these little I don't know what they're called little sort of velcro sticky pads so that's how that attaches it's pretty simple really but uh, yeah so if you do have a stone fly up and hit your um, headlight it won't destroy the headlight it will instead destroy that Next up, a uh, question I get a lot is about this screen. So this screen is from Puig. I don't know if there's a Puig thing logo. Yeah, just there. Puig. So yeah, this is the Puig. I think they call it the new generation sports screen. From memory, it was about hundred pounds. Um, I bought it direct from Puig's website. And you all ask me, is this any good? Yes, that's why I've left it on. I don't particularly like the look of it, but it's so good on the motorways that I've left it on. So that's why that's on there. Um, worth, worth, definitely worth putting on if you're going to do uh, lots of miles on the motorways or go touring, for example. Yeah, highly recommend one of those. Next, we have <coughs> more RNG. These are, what do they call these? Crash bobbins, I guess. Now, uh, some of you have mentioned that these should be fit here, but what happened was uh, when I bought these, the bike was so new that these are basically the previous uh, generation which fit the 650F and those go there. Um, it's no issue because on the, the CBR, even the modern CBR, this is where they go because the fairing's there. Um, so there's no issues and I've actually dropped the bike twice. <laughs> Typically I've dropped the bike twice and they've actually saved um, me damaging the uh, engine casings. Talking about engine casings, I did have the RNG engine casings on here. And I put those on for the tour, mainly because if I did drop the bike or had a sort of off, a low, what do they call it, a low side while I was away, I just wanted to be able to protect the engine casings as much as possible. But the thing is, I do love this, I mean, even in the sunshine, look at that lovely lust, luster of the paintwork. So I took, I took them back off because I have these crash bobbins, I figured that's enough. Um, so if anybody is interested in some RNG engine covers for their 650, get in touch with me. We can sort something out, I'm sure. Next up we have the SC Project SC1 full exhaust system. This has got the baffle in, so it's uh, fully road legal because it has a cat which is there, which is why this bit is um, so much wider. So it's a full system, headers all the way up to the muffler, this is carbon fibre muffler. And it sounds pretty good. Let's just give you a little sample, shall we? So as I said, this has the baffle in at the moment. And obviously that sounds quite a bit different to the stock bike, um, which sounds quite metallic and tinny. This has got a lovely deep rich tone to it which I really like. Um, as I said fully road legal uh, Euro 4 because this is a Euro 4 bike but I'm sure there will be a Euro 5 version coming from SC Project. Again link in the description if you're interested in one of those. Uh, we've got actually I missed one 
just up here we've got the RNG radiator cover and that's just in case you get any stone chips um, because they do damage the fins and over time you do get a lot of damaged fins so I wanted to avoid that as much as possible so that's the RNG rad cover again link in description one last thing which I can show you and quite an important thing now I've got to try and do this with one hand which is nigh on impossible so I'm just going to put you down right we're back so I don't know if you can see that but we have the quick shifter from Hiltec um, which uh, you also get a little strain gauge there and there's the wire um, it fits into the coils the coil packs which are around about here somewhere um, it's it was a little bit nerve-wracking fitting it but to be honest I can do it anyone can do it and then you get the little unit back here what I love about the quick shifter from Hiltec is that you get an app as well on your phone and you can tweak all the settings so it talks to your phone via I think it's Bluetooth um, and you can tweak all the settings on the fly and it's fantastic because you can get the uh, the ignition cut as short or as long as you want uh, all different sort of uh, settings you know which gears do you want it to work in which gears do you not want it to work in but yeah really recommend those um, quick shifter really really cool uh, I also have the USB or the power socket here which I don't know if you saw my video <laughs> quite amusing video um, I'll put a link I'll put a card up in the corner uh, that just allows me to well <coughs> I've actually taken it off now but I, I was running a wire all the way along here up to my handlebars and it just allows for me to charge stuff uh, up on my handlebars like the sat nav or my phone or whatever so yeah the quick shifter does work really really well lastly I did have an RNG tail tidy on the bike because it does make the back end look rather smart as you can see from the pictures but because I ride this bike every single day it is my daily bike um, unfortunately it makes this really short and if you see where the back wheel is it sticks out quite a bit so it throws water and road poop not only all over you but all underneath the seat and under here got flooded and that's where my quick shifter is that's where my aux socket is so I, I couldn't have that I mean maybe there could have been a way to sort of make this waterproof but I was also getting covered in road muck and I just thought you know what it's not worth it for the sake of having okay it's not the best looking tail in the world but for the sake of that I'd rather be dry and not have to worry about everything getting wet under the seat um, I did have swing on bobbins from RNG but adjusting the chain was a real pain because you had to take the bobbins out and then put this adjuster back in so you could actually see where the adjuster was and with the RNG one you that it basically made it a real pain to adjust the chain so I took them off because at the end of the day I actually think this is going to take the brunt of an impact anyway so and the pegs would but uh, yeah so that's about it everything else is bone stock pretty much I did have to replace the tyre the rear tyre because I had a puncture this is a Roadtech 01 SE whereas the front is just an 01 so I think that's slightly softer compound heats up a bit better um, but yeah there she is basically after two years and nine thousand odd miles the only other thing I probably should have done was the seat because even though it feels fairly soft on the longer journey it's so blooming painful so but you know what can you do it's um, I didn't really want to spend like four or five hundred pounds on a seat for the occasional the occasional trip because you know it's okay for about an hour anything upwards of that it does start to get a bit painful but there it is there we are so I think that's it guys for this short short and sweet video hope this has been useful if you've got any questions do hit me up in the comments I'll do my best to uh, get back to you as a as a kind of side note uh, this bike is actually being sold uh, trading it in for something else I'm sure you all have your guesses as to what that might be um, but we'll see we'll see in the next video or two I'll sort of announce what I've got but yeah, this is going to be going back or being traded in fairly soon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do go out today, do ride safely, but remember to have fun, of course. And as always, take it easy and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.